All right, we're back. Um, no, it's going. See where where are you? Where are you? You seen Arthur today? No. Nah, last time I saw him was uh, Scott. Days. You don't think he got crushed during the bridge collapse? His team running that drop? Think that puts things into perspective. here I didn't see this door this is Reginald's stuff all right but it looks like he's not home let's search the room try to figure out where he's gone oh, I was gonna, oh. all right I can't believe I'm stuck in this law forsaken town but at least I think I may have finally found a spot with promise down the tunnel on the riverbank outside of town produced one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who pays something for these teeth. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold panning down on the river. I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. I'm going to assume the river is this way. We're going this way now. Oh, there he is. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. You gonna fight? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. All right, you're going to give up everything you've ever believed in just for revenge? Maybe he didn't know the book was in French. Um. Yes, that's about the long and short of it. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, <laughs> it will make me feel a whole lot better. Next stop. Now, let's do it this way first. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there.
I don't think so. A crazed hermit on Scylla? He's playing us for fools. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Um, no, we got to go back to the ship. Journal. Oh, yeah. I got an update. Take Max to the Hermit on Scylla. Okay, I'm not going there yet. Map. Region uh, Then I got to grab um Grab uh Drop these two I just took her out for fresh air, I guess. And then we'll go to this one clearing an area. All right. Star Cross Troopers. Map. Region. I, I just don't see it. Oh, this is on Emerald Island. Or Emerald Vale. Where did I get Emerald Island from? I don't know. All right, Empty Man. Okay, we got to go up there. All right, we're back in the ship. And I think we're going to... Oops, wrong way. We're going to go see... Uh, okay, see us there. Um... Finia's lab. Go talk to him real quick. We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab. Can I go with nobody? Yeah. Probably going to be a mistake. There's probably ten gazillion things in here. <clears throat> Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. Does this work? Oh, damn it. Blast. That's loud. Where are you? How are you that way? I'm just securing my ongoing experiments and securing myself. Mine the mess. Uh, I haven't had a visitor since... Uh, in fact, I've never had a visitor. You 
I'd clap you on the shoulder if I weren't behind a wall of bulletproof glass. I don't know how you did it, but Hiram Blythe just sent me everything I needed. All right. According to Hiram's message, Minister Clark has ordered a suspicious amount of dimethyl sulfoxide. It's almost as if he's hoarding the colony's remaining supply. Typical elitist. Hoarding supplies during a time of scarcity. Once I have those chemicals, we can revive the Hope's colonists and put some decent people in charge. So, good news. You're going to Byzantium and stealing those chemicals. Exciting. Hmm. If I had time and several blackboards, I could explain the details to you, but to put it briefly, dimethyl sulfoxide is the reason you're alive today. The chemical is absolutely essential to reviving the Hope's colonists. I need you to steal as much as you possibly can. The more, steal. the better. If you don't bring me enough chemicals, I might not be able to save the Hope's colonists, and then nothing will stop the board from destroying this colony. All right, um... Aloysius Clark, Minister of Earth. Virtually every colony requires the presence of a Minister of Earth. Clark is complicit in every one of the board's crimes. Whenever the board issues some new decree, you'll find Clark's signature on the dotted line. Oh, I understand it must seem impossible to you. Infiltrate Byzantium, the crown jewel of the colony. Steal a batch of rare chemicals from a heavily guarded estate. In order to do the impossible, you must first divide it into a series of smaller, less impossible tasks. I'm sure the game will do that for me. Ah, yes, the details. I'm not about to ask you to rampage through Byzantium trading bullets with the board's agents. We'll have to resort to subterfuge. Carmen Imagawa. She's my contact in Byzantium. Meet her at the docks. She'll have all the necessary intelligence you require. I'm giving you my old nav key to Byzantium. You'll need it to land in the Golden City. Remember, you're looking for dimethyl sulfoxide. Big green bubbling vessel with a warning label. I'll take as much as you can find. Oh, uh, no. I'll find out when I talk to her. Actually, there was something else I want to talk to you about. Warning label. Got it. Anything I can steal in here? I didn't see anything. He says this place is a mess, but I don't see anything laying around. What is that? One of his experiments, I assume. All right. Nothing. He doesn't have anything to take. Well, I'm trying to figure out why my, whatchamacallit, was pointing that way when he's that way. Oh, well. Not a thing, so we're gonna go back to... Oh. This way. Okay, let's look at this first. Okay... Phineas has an associate Okay, I gotta go to there. That's next. Those secret people. Braxton's. Oh, there it is. Oh, got it. Okay, I think that's. Yeah, that's what you call it. Star Cross Trooper. All right, let's go back to... I understand we have decided to continue supporting the outlaw scientist, Dr. Phineas Wells. Yeah, th well, let's go do this first, get it out of the way. 
Oh, that's... Captain, I'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel. Greetings from the Halcyon Parcel Service. Delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty. All right. I've got a special delivery for Alex Hawthorne of the Unreliable. Uh, with your permission, I'll see it transferred to your ship. Um. With alacrity. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. With alacrity. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. Huh. They dispense three complimentary spritzes of Anti Cleo's Citrus Squirt Air Freshener. That's the HPS touch for you, Captain Hawthorne. On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. What? I don't even know where my... Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should have known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose, top runger who just came into some money and was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but... There's got to be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. <laughs> I just want to say, we got to take this job. This is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. All right, nice of him to share a tip, money, intrigue. Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. Um. <laughs> now, I, for one, was hoping to do the exact opposite of that. Yeah. What? Do you want to shake its hand? <laughs> yeah, can we talk about the arm? I want to take bets on how the guy lost it. My money's on cannibals. That ain't really that fella's arm, right? It's got to be a dummy. Or a toy? Simulating disgust. How distasteful. Humans eat there. I'm not touching it. Etc. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. Oh, really? I thought he lost his arm gambling. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. This had less correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. All right. Uh... Based on the condition of the limb, I calculate a 92.7% chance that Mr. Montoya expired from his injuries. There is what humans colloquially <laughs> call a Spratt's chance in a Mantasaur's den. That is a very low chance, Captain. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. All right. There's something weighing on my mind. Oh, wow. Nobody wants to sit around. Oh, there is an arm on there. I didn't notice that before. All right. Uh... What did they do? They brought me upstairs? I've done it. 
I want to go do do this. Uh, what is that? This must be for the uh, bridge. Ah, Gorgon. No. We are here now, so let's... Let's go take care of that one first. Damn, that was a long load screen there. All right, where do we need to go? A little fast travel there. Who? Here's my marker. I'm not sure how to get there. Okay, let me... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any road. Can I go around this way? Doesn't look like it. Eh. Yeah. Eh, maybe I can. No. Huh. Ah. Might have to pass through. Remember, one here on this side. I guess I could have. I guess there was a path. Was this here before? Wager this is the outpost. Rebecca! Ander! Come on out! Fine. I'm trying to figure out where you guys are shooting at. I really didn't want that blade. All right. No. Oh. 
That was a drawer, was it not? Oh, refrigerator. All right, nobody in that one. Take a gander. The door's busted. Rebecca? Anders? Huh. Rebecca taught me this once. You can jerry-rig these old locks so as they don't open anymore. But we've only ever done that if we're in a real bind. Here, I'll fix it. Oh, no. Oh, no. What did you do? Oh, hell. I'm sorry, Nyoka. Okay, it all. We never should have taken the contract. Addled, or I don't know what, the town won't let us walk in without an employment contract. I can't even find somebody, someone, to let me send a message. For all the capable folks here, we're stuck. Back home, we had to fight for every meal because there was no meals that you didn't make yourself. Here, there's plenty, but nobody allowed to give you one. We've been stealing bits and pieces for life from wh wherever we can. Anderson is about ready to sign up, offer his life in the service. Two spacious choice just so he can take a shower. Clara, I hope. It never reaches you, but in the off chance it does, I want to say I'm sorry. Anderson and I fucked up. Oops, excuse my French. We didn't take the contract for the bits. We didn't take it because Primal sounded cool. We took it because we wanted to. I don't... All right. They were... The bitch! They were all sent to abandon us! What would Clara say, huh? Every day she'd ask if we heard from you. And she'd have forgiven you. The kid had a soul that made the sulfur smell like roses. Ugh. I'd have leave your medallions to rot with you, but Clara would want to be buried with her sister. At least, at least I know. Ought to have learned by now that getting one's hopes up tends to open them to being dashed across the stars. I hate to say this, but Clara died thinking her sister was still fighting to get back home. I think I'm glad. If she were still alive now, it'd break her to know the truth. Yeah, maybe. I'm used to disappointment. She was still so naive as to let it hurt her every time it happened. Only thing left is to take these medallions home, which means figuring out how to bait the mana queen out of our old base. The most pissed off I've ever seen a queen was when a foreign species was on her soil. I'd wager the stench of a primal might do the trick. All right. <laughs> I'd be boring. Half the fun in exploring <laughs> is the fact that you're on an unknown trail. I've never had the pleasure of hunting primals, but I hear they're all over Scylla. Let's tear a few apart, shall we? I'm sure they've got pheromones. Everything does. All right. No, I think there was, was there something there? Did I get this? Yeah, I did. Ooh, an energy cell. I don't want fish sticks. All right.
Back to the unreliable and oh, we get actually can come inside the ship now. That's cool. Um, all right. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.